In the chief of staff's office. Well done. Very nice. I'm glad to I'm glad to see this. FCT minister and former governor of Rivers State. Nyesam Wike, has been fingered as the arrowhead of the coalition of politicians working against the incumbent governor, Sim Fubra. The political hailstorm against Fubra got to a head Monday morning when 27 members of the 32-member Rivers State House of Assembly defected from the People's Democratic Party PDP, to the All Progressives Congress APC, with fanfare. The plot was hatched in Abuja by Wike and his kitchen cabinet with Wike's Man Friday, Chief Felix Obua, founder of Go Round Football Club, as the go-between man. Chief Obua, a former chairman of the PDP in Rivers State, has been a trusted ally of Wike and is always seen in Wike's company, from Rivers to Abuja. The plot to migrate the lawmakers loyal to Wike from PDP to APC had been on before the October incident in which the state assembly imploded in an internal crisis that saw the emergence of two camps. Since the October incident which was an aftermath of an earlier plot to impeach Governor Fubra, the 32-member House had been operating in two factions, following the impeachment of the majority leader Edison Iha. While Speaker Matin Zamayul retained 26 members who are the Wike loyalists, Edison Ihai had been operating with four members said to be loyalists of Fubra. Governor Fubra's efforts to break the ranks of the Wike's loyalists had been thwarted by emissaries from Wike through Chief Obua to the Yule camp. The love for and commitment of the 26 lawmakers plus the Speaker to Wike is fierce. Not even money no matter the amount, could break it. All the efforts from the governor to win them over failed. The bond is strong and going forward, I fear for the governor to still keep his seat and concentrate on his job. APC lawmakers are now in the majority and anything can happen, a source familiar with the plot said. The defection of the 27 ah, lawmakers under the leadership of Mark Emanuele was announced with fanfare Monday morning, after that of intensive lobbying and meetings at the weekend. Wike was said to be in the know of every move by the lawmakers. Another member of the White Camp said that last week's appearance of Wike at the office of Chief of Staff to President Tainyobu, during which Wike composed and danced to a song on your mandate We Shall Stand, Jajaban, was a herald of the grand defection. Since October, Amaewali and another member, Edison Ihai, had been embroiled in a speakership fight, though elders of the state tried to mediate. Ahead of the defection of the 27 members, the Amaewali camp had effected some leadership changes. On December 6, Mr. Major Jack, PDP Akukuturu 1, and Mr. Franklin Nwabachi, PDP Agba slash Ikbima slash Andoni 1, emerged majority leader and chief whip of the Rivers House of Assembly respectively. The new House leaders emerged and subsequently took oath of office following an election by 27 members during plenary at the Assembly Chamber. Commenting on their emergence, Speaker Martin Zamaewali, PDP Obio slash Akbar 1, congratulated the officers while also charging them to remain committed to their new responsibilities. Also Mr. Enemy George, PDP Asari Toru 2, moved a motion to commend the speaker, the motion was unanimously supported by members as they extolled the sterling leadership qualities of the speaker and his team. In separate remarks, members applauded the House leadership for upholding the tenets of democracy. Similarly, the Financial Autonomy Bill, 2023 has scaled second reading, the Speaker emphasized the importance of the bill and stated his conviction that when passed, the Governor would assent to it. The Speaker, 
however, alleged that the governor, Mr. Simon Ilai Fiobra, had withheld the funds meant for management of the assembly for the month of November. He assured of the readiness of the House to continue its constitutional functions, irrespective of negative distractions, the bill has also been referred to the House Committee on Public Accounts for hearing and other legislative scrutiny.